I'm David Skidmore. As we continue discussing different combinations of stroke types in marimba music, today we get to a fun one. We're going to be combining single independent strokes with a few triple lateral strokes. Once again, we'll be creating an ostinato, a short repetitive musical figure, in both hands. And in this week's lesson, both hands will also be playing melodic material. In warm-up number one, we see the ostinato is alternating between the number two and number three mallets. You'll also notice that we use a familiar notation system throughout this lesson. All of the notes with the stems going up are played with the right hand. All of the notes with the stems going down are played with the left hand. Let's play the first measure of the exercise, getting that ostinato going, making sure we stay nice and relaxed. Now let's add the melodic notes. First, the note in the right hand. And now we'll play the melodic note in the left hand. Let's break this down a little. Play just the second measure of the exercise with only your right hand. And notice how You've got a series of single independent strokes with a number three mallet, and then one triple lateral stroke so you can grab that melodic note with a number four mallet. That melodic note in the right hand is in a much higher register than the notes that I'm playing in the ostinato, so it's pretty easy for it to stand out above the texture and be heard as a melody. I'm also using a slightly harder mallet in my number four position, which I recommend you do. That'll also help those higher notes stick out. My left hand's doing something similar, so now let's play this exercise, measure three, just the left hand. In this hand, I'm only using single independent strokes the melodic note replaces one note of the ostinato pattern. Once again, I'm using a different mallet in this number one position because it's going to be playing the melody. In this case, a slightly softer mallet that gets a slightly warmer and darker sound. Notice something else about my hand position when I'm playing this exercise. As I approach the instrument, my hands are already set at a position that will prepare me to play the melodic notes. Because I'm playing both ostinato and melodic notes with my hands, I'm setting my hands at an interval that makes it as easy as possible to play both. Thinking ahead like this is super important in marimba music. This is very similar to an idea we've been talking about all along of shifting your hands as soon as possible to the next notes. Preparing ourselves in advance improves accuracy, and it also helps us stay more relaxed because we're not frantically trying to get to the next note at the last possible second. Now let's play warm-up exercise number two. In this exercise, both hands are going to be playing melodic notes simultaneously. Let's break it down similar to how we did the last exercise. I'm going to play just the right hand first. Now let's try just the left hand. If I was playing this ostinato without worrying about the melodic notes, my hands might be set more like this. But since I am playing those melodic notes, I set my hands out wide at about an octave so that I'm prepared for the melodic notes as they come up. Now take a look at the etude, measures 24 through 27. This is the one time when the melodic material shares the same register as the ostinato material. And you'll notice that I indicate above the melodic notes accents rather than tenudos. This is a clear message that I'm trying to send to you as the composer, that 
I know you're going to have to work a little bit harder at this moment in the piece for those melodic notes to be heard above the texture of the ostinato. Look for clues like this in any piece of music that you play. A good composer will understand the instrument that she's writing for, and she'll know what to ask for to get the sound that she's looking for at any given moment. Pay attention to your phrasing throughout as well. These tenuto melodic notes should always have a musical direction, and there are plenty of opportunities throughout the etude to use dynamics and rubato to create musical phrases. The phrasing exercise in this lesson gives us a chance to try one musical phrase in a variety of different ways using dynamics to create musical phrases. Etudes at this point are starting to get a little bit more complex and a little bit longer. So don't get discouraged if this etude takes you a little bit longer to learn and get comfortable with than some of the past etudes. I mean, I wrote this music and I still find that I have to spend more time practicing this etude than some of the other ones. So don't worry, it's not just you. Uh, this one's harder for everybody. Hopefully you're still having fun with this music and your efforts will be rewarded as the music continues to get more complex, interesting, and virtuosic. Thanks for watching.